Hey everybody and welcome back to Quest 64 slash Would You Rather. I'm trying to beat this game for the very first time, and every week we ask and answer two of life's most important questions. Molly asks, would you rather never pee again or never poop again? After the video, head over to the community tab to answer the question of the week. Hello fellow magic fans and welcome back to Quest 64. We are here on the Isle of Sky. As I mentioned last time, this is the last area of this game that I've actually been to. So I'm excited to get past it and see what lies beyond. I believe that the water boss is pretty close. Uh, we just have to head down this path and find her. I think it's not too far. Uh, so hopefully we'll get there today and see how we can do, you know, if we can beat her, if we need to train up or something. Before we head out, let's start with our first question today. This one comes from Molly again. Thank you very much, Molly. And her question is, would you rather be hit by a chair or slammed through a table WWE style? A great question that I'm sure everyone has thought about before. Would I rather get hit with a steel chair or get slammed through a table? Grangok. Oh, God. All right, water guys, let's use fire. Looks good to me. This is, there's been a lot of weird enemies in this game. This is maybe the weirdest one we've seen. Uh, a fish jumping around on a stake. Is it like a, a surf and turf joke? I don't get it. So we gotta see how tough enemies are around here. So far, pretty tough if they're all gonna have those 20, da ugh, 20 damage moves. I'm gonna die. I can't heal through this. Ugh. Okay, well, let's see where we go. So the, they're dangerous just like the scorpions were. Where do we go back to? Oh, just the ship. No big deal. So while I'm healing up, let's think about this question. Getting hit by a steel chair or slammed through a table? Both super fun parts of pro wrestling. If you don't watch wrestling, you really should there. It's it's great, especially when people get hit with stuff or thrown through a table, for sure. Um, now, being a wrestling connoisseur, such as myself, I would choose to be slammed through a table. I think. Because, you know, getting hit with a chair, Fun to watch, for sure. And they definitely, you know, know how to do it where it won't give you a concussion. But it's still gonna hurt. You know, to get that good sound, you still gotta get hit with it pretty hard. And I've always been a fan of people getting slammed through tables. I think it looks kind of fun. And, you know, the tables they use are break easy and, you know... If, if it's done right, you're not likely to, to get hurt very badly, I would think. And it just looks better. Like, if, if you haven't watched any wrestling, that's fine. Like, you should. But if you haven't, just go on YouTube. Or you're already on YouTube. Stay here and look up, you know, wrestling chair shots or, or people getting slammed through tables. And, uh, you know, tell me which one you think looks better. And it's the, it's the tables, for sure. Let's see. These are... These are fire guys, I think. Ooh, yeah. So, yes, Molly. I would choose Slam Through Table. It looks cooler. It's more exciting. I love wrestling. I haven't talked about it much on here, but... Man, it's good. Sometime I want to play, like, a wrestling game. Like an older one. So I, I feel like the newer ones aren't very good, especially if you if you see when they come out. There's like every year they get more and more buggy and like they're they're just terrible. They're they're getting them to look good enough where we're hitting like uncanny valley, where everyone's like it looks like the person but like a creepy weird version of them. I kind of like the older games. I had a couple of uh, PS2 wrestling games and like. No, no one actually looks like a real person, but you can tell who they're supposed to be. And, um, 
you know, it's it's good enough. But those were fun, and I, I would kind of like to play one on here if we can. I think that'd be a fun time. Uh, okay. I want to take... Yeah, see, the water spell did twice as much to that yellow guy. I take out this fish first, because they do the most damage. Grengok. But yeah, like some sometimes pro wrestling is bad, but a, a lot of times it's really good. So if you don't watch it, you should. You should give it a try. And you don't have to watch WWE. As, as much as I like a lot of their performers, that company, like, on several levels kind of sucks. So I feel bad watching it. But there's, like, AEW out now. There's TNA, which I used to watch. There's a lot of other indie promotions, which I would love to watch, but I don't actually know how. Like, I don't know how to get access to them. But there's tons of pro wrestling all over the world. Um, and once, once you get into it, like, it's great. Okay, this must be the stone circle. Got a little wind spirit there, up on top of the mountain. So we go in there, and now we're at the bottom of the sea. What are these, sponges? Okay, we can go back and forth. Bottom of the sea, and yeah, I think the boss is just around here. If only I could turn the camera to look. Can't see freaking anything. Oh, we gotta go this way. How, how was I supposed to know it was behind a rock? Follow this path. I don't think there's any fights. But she should be just right up here. Yeah. Just standing in place like all the other bosses. It's Nefty. I don't believe it. How could a trifling little human like you get through my barrier so easily? Why have you come here? It must be to see me. I possess the water jewel and it will make me queen of the world. Humans will throw themselves at my feet and beg for mercy. Oh, yes. You will, too. That's a pretty good intro, Nefty. So, yeah, this is the last boss in this game that I've fought, and I don't remember if I beat her or not. But we'll give it a try. Um, perfect. Great start. Okay, so she can do 26 up close. I wanted to see how much health I'm dealing with here. If I even can. Oh my god. I just want to see how much health she has. Okay, and she can do 11 from range. I'm just gonna throw this one. Like, I just want to see how much health she has. Her damage isn't terrible. Why isn't this working? What is it with these spells and how they never work? Oh, that, that time it worked. 880 health, okay. And a staff attack does 60. Okay. So I need to hit her more than 10 times with that. If we do a power staff. It's still just 60, really? Why didn't that do more? I'm confused. That's okay. That was just an information gathering fight. Okay, so that first one, I just wanted to see kind of how things stacked up. So she's got about 900 health, does about 26 damage up close, and has a multi-attack from farther away, but they each just do like 10 or so. Um, so that's not too bad. And we, we definitely have a lot of bread and stuff to heal through it. So, let's see. Staff attacks did about 60. So I guess this time we need to see if or what, what kind of ranged attack we can do on her. Her outfit is ridiculous. All right, Nepti, let's see here. What about wind? We got a bunch of wind elements. We've got wind cutter three. We've got large cutter now. Restriction two. Okay, cool. So what if I keep my distance and say we did wind cutter three? That's not too bad. It did at least, like, 
20 or 30. That's not, that's not too bad. Uh, foaming arrow I don't think is going to be very good. How far away can I hit her with fireball? Like, that did 60. Ooh, that might be it. Because if I, if I hit her with fireball from this distance, we do about 60. That's about what my staff does. She's coming in close. But if she uses that bubble attack, like, if I hold still, it only hits me once. Leave me alone. Get away, Nepti. Don't make me eat my bread. I'm saving it for the final boss. Stay back. This is the problem with these bosses. I can't get farther away from them. Ugh, there's no way to avoid it. It's just like solvering. Can't get close to her at all. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have. I got a vade. But that doesn't really do much for me. Alright, yeah, yeah. It made her miss that time. But what I would really like is something that gives me more space to move. But you need to like use those that boot item. Um let's see. What if I heal a little bit and let her use bubbles on me? Cause it only hits once. Her aim is terrible. Some sorceress. Unfortunately, I can't really outheal her damage by much. Unless it misses a bunch. Um, let's go back to the fireballs. I got bread. I can use bread. It's no big deal. She's a major boss. Oof. Okay, now I need something. Honey bread. Yeah, see, with this game, if, if I had used all of my bread and healing items, like, what would I do in this situation? I'd have to grind a bunch. Oh, she hit me twice. She's getting serious. It's like, would I have to fly back to every town in the world and beg for bread and then come back? That kind of stinks. Uh, wish I could get farther away. This is getting rough. Got tons of bread. Got a lot of recovery items. But like, I'll never get them back. That's the that's the rough part with this. Escape a fight. Prevents enemy spells, that probably doesn't work. I guess I use a healing potion. I just saved right before this, so if it doesn't work, it's not a big deal. Why don't you stay right there? And I'm just gonna use... Just chew on some leaves here. No, I said stay there. Stay back. Ugh, oh, jerk. This does a little more. Ah! Except that I'm blind. Come on, Brian. You're really screwing this up for me. I'll go in for staff attacks. What? I don't see anything. Very helpful. Come on, Nepti. Get out of here. Miss. I'm going to use a bread. Go away. That does too much. <gasps> I beat her. Oh. 
I did it! Water jewel obtained! Holy crap. Okay. Well, you know. I'm sad that I had to use those couple items, but... it That went pretty well, actually. So let's go back. Actually, before we run back, let's do our second question for today. Alright, this second question comes straight from my parents. Thank you guys again. Would you rather be missing one of your butt cheeks? Or have a gaping chest wound? This sounds exactly like the kind of question my dad would ask. Uh, I'm not sure why. Let's think about this. Missing part of your butt, definitely inconvenient. I feel like it would be painful to sit. You know, you'd always be kind of off to the side. So that's not good. Your pants wouldn't fit very well. All inconvenient things. But, gaping chest wound? I mean, that sounds like a pretty pretty sure thing for ma a massive infection. <laughs> you know? Just like your, your heart and your ribs exposed to the elements all the time. Um, probably not good. So I think I would have to go with missing half my butt. That it's inconvenient, but I think on the uh, the health scale, it's going to be a lot better for you. But you let me know if you think otherwise. Let's see. All right, we beat Nepti. I'm so excited. I don't I don't know if I've ever done it before. So let's get situated on where we're headed next. And the next time we'll pick it up and head to places unknown. New Horizons. Get out of here, you fish stick. Oh, it's fish it's a fish stick. I get it. I got it. I got it. I get the joke. Fish stick. Okay, looks like the sun is setting. Finally, the, the sea has calmed down now that we got the water jewel. Lucky for that, it was really rough before, wouldn't you say? Let's see what, uh, what's your face has to say. What was your name again? Colleen. What's that you say? Broke through the barrier and recovered the water jewel. You're no average magician. I think I can entrust the jewel to you for safekeeping. Don't lose it. I have guarded the water jewel for generations in hope of one day handing it over to a great magician. So, that's such a weird plan. That's what you've been waiting for? I hope you are the one. <laughs> Take it now and get this pirate out of my sight. You got it. Oh, we can now enter the secret room. Ah. This will maybe take us back to... Water Crystal Valley? And what do you have to say? Gar. so that's the water jewel, is it? I bet that could fetch a fancy price. A pirate would love to get his hands on it, but the sorceress would get angry with me. Oh yeah, it would be real fun to tease the sorceress. Well, maybe I might take it just to see her face turn red. Alright, nice to meet you, Cognac, or whatever your name was. And we're back. Epona, I did it. It wasn't that bad. You've obtained the water jewel, I see. The truth is that gem is not all it seems. Shut inside it is the power of the Elotail book. Really? Just this one, or like all of them? That means if you are not worthy, overwhelming forces will be released. But if you use your strength correctly, you can triumph over all. It's now up to you, Master Brian. You were the spirit's chosen one from the time you picked up the crystal. I would not have wished such a thing upon one so young. Now you can return to town from the stone circle. Be careful as you go. I will be careful. Uh, Chappie, can we save? Okay, we have three of the elemental gems. There's only the fire one left. Which I assume is what we're going to go do next. This will take us back to... Larapool! And... Now, what do I do? Uh... We've been everywhere that we know of. Should I go talk to that person? Why are you guys out? It's late. Let's go talk to that witch or whoever it was. Or Shannon. Shannon, you got any tips? Is Shannon here? Oh, there she is. 
Uh, an ordinary magician can never command so many spells at once. Thank you, that's... Thank you for the compliment. Not helpful, though. Is this a door? Hello? Wasn't she up here? Didn't we come upstairs and she was in here? Is she not here anymore? Oh, no, she went down to the, uh... To the water thing. Is she still there? I honestly don't know, and I feel like she's the only person who's gonna know what I'm supposed to do. Can't go that way, so we can't go back to the blue cave at all. Which, you know what? That's fine. That's fine with me. She is here. Leela. Uh, my task is to protect you as you travel, but your quest, your quest 64 is so difficult that our weak powers may not be enough to help you. Uh, you know what would be helpful? Telling me where I'm supposed to go. Okay, well, we can probably take a break here. We got the water jewel. That's very exciting. Um, but now the question is, where are we supposed to go? Because everywhere on the map we've seen we've been. I am going to have to look up what we do next. So, I will figure that out. And next time we will head off to a new place. A place I've never been before. Uh, wherever that might be. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think about the questions from today. And ponder this one over the next week. Would you rather smell like onions or garlic? Bye!